Now back time. I'm not sure what's in these, we'll find out. There's always a bit of links down below for things I can give you links for. LEDs. Dual cut LEDs. I'm guessing these are red and green. I actually don't remember what I purchased. The different types as well. A different number here, but the numbers here and here are the same, so I don't know. One and two, two and two, yeah, maybe it's the same. Probably all the same. So I was modifying some things the other day. These little charger things like this. This is for the Balfour radio. I was just playing around with it and I was trying to put in like a battery management controller in there and things like that. And I was going to change the LEDs. And I realised I didn't actually have any dual colour 3mm or 5mm LEDs. I thought I'd better get some because I don't have any. It's nothing like trying to do a project and working out you don't actually have something. I'm having to wait for it and order it and everything. Just annoying. But it's why I haven't got any room left. SDO5 CRMA B minus B positive G V1 I think these might be charge controllers for lithium cells. That's what I think they are. Can you get numbers off those chips? Here you go, you can just see this now. I don't know, I can't see what they are. Can you see that on there? I think it says CH31 something. Not easy to get the numbers off these. They're CN3163, so I can just see it now. I'll get a lot of them just right. No, maybe that'll help, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure these are charge control ICs. I think it was going to go with these. Anyway, never mind. Well, that's a big one. Big charger, 12 volt, 10 amps. I think I might need this for something I've purchased which hasn't arrived yet. And what's the other one here? Not quite as big. This is 5 volt, 10 amp. Could take either one of these. I think it'll be this one it will need. But uh, I needed something with high current. It might be this bag. I don't know. When it comes to these sorts of things, getting these from China and AliExpress, places like that, don't buy the cheap ones. Buy the most expensive version you can find on there. You do get what you pay for. Don't buy the $20 one, get the $40 one. Give an example, because that difference is actually put into the component tree and the quality of the unit you buy. Generally, maybe not always, but generally is a good guide. Another sign of quality is that it actually gave the correct plugs. These are the Zidon safety plugs, right? So these ones have got the black insulated section around here. Well, it doesn't have to be black, but insulated section around the pin, so you can't touch them accidentally. Like the cheaper ones don't have those insulated pins. All things should have these insulated pins these days, but sometimes they don't. So that's another clue that these are probably better quality than them all. Looks looking promising. It is what I was hoping it was going to be. So it came with a charger, rather small charger, lightweight, 5 volt. 3 amps and this is the charger so it says 5 volt 3 amps on the bottom here this is for the Baofeng radios so you can charge up 6 radios at once stack them in and you can see what's going on power switch on the side that's nice but I didn't want to rely on these little basic chargers well, I don't trust these things and as you can see it's also got the wrong pin out All right, this is not a New Zealand plug it's alright voltage these things are universal these days, but it doesn't weigh very much. I certainly don't trust the quality of that. Um, and I wanted something a bit more robust. It doesn't have any feet installed, which is funny. This is why I've got these chargers, because I wasn't quite sure which voltage it's going to be. Ah, oh, look at this. It's the cheeky buggers. Look, they've got a different adapter on it. It's not a 2.1mm, it's something else. Ugh. What's the pinout? It is centre positive at least. That's something. Hmm. So I can't plug one of these straight onto it because it's got a different plug. That requires some adaptation. So I'm going to have to open this thing up and swap that connector out. It's not a big deal. Actually, it might be. I haven't got any. I did order some. They haven't arrived yet. Hmm. But anyway, this is a bit for the radios we use at events. 
which I've shown in a previous mail bag, I showed about stuff before. They come with these little individual chargers, they actually come supplied with these, so you do actually have chargers for them. Yeah, probably use six radios at a time generally, sometimes we'll use more than that. And so I needed a big multi-way charger, so I'll just, you know, at the end of the day, chuck them in, charge them up ready for the next day, all in one go without messing around with individual chargers and, you know, cycling through each one. This means you can charge up all of them at once. Now, one thing that does bother me a little bit, it says three amps. The thing is, these do charge a higher current than three amps, well, combined. They are about an amp each. So I think they need about six amps, really, if you're doing fast charging. So I don't know, maybe it's got the charge protection circuitry, will limit that on the but I'll give us a go. We're actually going to an event soon, so I'll be using it this weekend and try it out. Fortunately, I'm going to have to use this charger. Not keen on that, but... Uh, that's why there are death adapters. Seriously, only ever use these as a last resort. Don't use them long term. These things are dangerous. That's why they call death adapters by Big Clive. Hey Clive, I know you watch my videos sometimes. If you've got these things, don't rely on them. You know, if you need to use this, go and buy another charger. Seriously, you cannot trust these things. This one is a nice tight fit because I've opened it up, squashed all the metals together, and made them a tight fit. They won't stay that way. And you also get different qualities of these, they look exactly the same, and sometimes the metals are slightly different thicknesses, and the ones that are just slightly thicker are better, but a lot of them are actually garbage, and they're actually dangerous to use. I actually highly recommend you don't use them. But in my case, I'm going to use it for you know a short period of time, you know, a couple of hours or so, under my supervision. I'm happy to use it in this case, and this is a this is one I've actually made a bit better fitting, right? That doesn't want to fall off. But the other ones the plug literally falls off. And the other part of the problem is these pins here, they're a little bit thin. So in the actual contacts in the sockets, and the Zealand sockets for example, they expect a slightly thicker pin, and so the actual contact gap might be too much. If I put this into like a power strip up here, I've got a, a power ball up there on my shelf, which I plug things in when I'm working on them, if I'm not using my variable transformer here over here, then that's actually a loose fit. If I put this in the power board, it actually wobbles around and has a bad connection. Right? And you've got bad connections, you're going to start a fire. Very likely it's the arcing and start a fire. So I absolutely say don't use these things if you can avoid it. But um, obviously I've got these chargers, but they're not quite going to do the job because I've got the wrong socket on them. Why would they use an on-standard socket, buggers? Anyway, that's fine. I can deal with that. Change it on here, and I can use one of those. Well, the 5 volt one, because that's what it requires. So a 10 amp 5 volt power supply. Plenty of grunt for this thing. I'd be great. I wouldn't be stressing anything. I always over spec things, so I was expecting about five amps, maybe six top for this thing, which is why I got a ten amp charger. So it's got plenty of headroom, it's not being stressed to the max. You don't want that. Check out the other videos down below. Subscribe over there if you're not subscribed already. Patreon support link over there. If you wanted me to buy more charger stuff so I don't burn my house down. Yeah, it should be fine. What could possibly go wrong?